Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for joining me for another review. We're gonna look at three different items today. The first one we're gonna check out is the Kerwin Frost hoodie. I'm so glad this one finally showed up. Make sure you subscribe so I can keep pushing out more content for you guys. Like this video, you know, obviously, you know, choose to do that if you want to. You know, I'll be very happy if you do. Like, very ecstatic, so. Please give me a like, give me a comment if you have any questions about any of the items. This hoodie came from the Kerwin Frost Telethon. I actually crossed out some stuff so you guys could check out the label on the bag itself. Look at that. Kerwin Frost. Kerwin Frost is so awkwardly cool, it's insane. I, I don't know how he does it, he just knows how to talk in that weird awkwardly you know I mean he doesn't always do it but he does sometimes it's wow okay my heater just turned on it's like 80 degrees outside I don't understand why it's turning on it's so loud it's uh anyways <laughs> here is the hoodie here we've got Kerwin Frost's face right on there with his pencil tattoo here's the label down the bottom corner Ooh, that's a close-up there we go yeah Got that label. You see here on the details, you got that puff print just really sticking out. <laughs> and you have some imperfections in here on that stitching. So everything's not perfect there. And also on this other side, you see there's some imperfection in there. So that's going to be a little bit common uh, if you're trying to legit check. You might want to check out how that all looks and everything it is a very thick puff print like super high crazy lifted probably max height or whatnot i'm gonna wait to open this one i have a few hoodies already and i don't really have a whole lot of time to wear a lot of my items just because i work so much right now it's just insane the amount of work the post office needs me to do and I mean, we're not really paid that much. Just gotta keep plugging away, keep going to work and paying my bills and everything and you know, buying hype stuff here and there because I love that. And then when work is a little bit slower, I am gonna get into painting more items, more shirts, but I also have to make sure I spend a ton of time with my wife because I love her so much. Abby's super awesome. So we went on a date last night, my first night kind of free because this whole week I've just been working like crazy, some 12 hour days and whatnot. So anyways, we're getting into this palace shirt. This is the try to help tee. I was so glad I was able to grab this one. Looks like they sent two stickers with it. They did send the palace receipt for me or return form or whatever like they always do. My stickers fell on the ground with my receipt here. It is signed. I got two of the white Triferg stickers. They are clear and then they have the logo underneath. This one is kind of peeling off a little bit but uh, you can see it's got like the logo underneath there. It's a very cool sticker and I'm probably just gonna use that one right away. Anyways, this shirt I did want to wear. I got it in a size large just because we are getting into the fall and winter months here in Montana. It's super cold and so I'm gonna wanna layer up and a size large fits really nice for me. I'm six foot one, about 140 pounds, 145 almost. Crossing my fingers, I'm really trying to uh, put on some weight right now, but you know, walking 20 miles a day, doesn't really help for you to be able to gain weight very quickly. It's more of just a weight loss program all the time. But uh, here, before I get it out, there is the label down at the bottom corner. And there is your warning information on the back. And now, to get it out of this Ziploc bag, pretty nice Ziploc bag, got the tripod on the front of it. Looks like when they folded it up, they did put actually a pretty large piece of tissue paper in here, but you gotta make sure that fuchsia, is this what this that one is? Yeah. You gotta make sure that fuchsia color doesn't get messed up at all. Look at that, so nice. They actually did really great on this screen print. It is a little bit oversized for a large, a little bit wider than a large normally is. The length on it is about the same as a large would be. Here on the back of the neck, you have your tag. Right there. And then on the inside left, you've got your wash tag, palace skateboards, try to help shirt, 
made in Vietnam. Hopefully they're taking care of those Vietnamese factory workers. I mean, if I had a company as big as Palace, I'd probably go fly to the factories just to check and see how they're doing. But then also you could take into account that flying is really bad for the environment too. So it's like, oh my goodness, what are we even gonna do? I mean, the world is just in a really weird place right now and trying to save everybody and everything and be conscious of everything, that is a tall order, especially when we're trying to get to Hawaii. All right, anyways, let's go ahead the shirt on and yeah this shirt like I was saying a little bit wider than a regular size large probably and uh, the length though not quite as long I can almost wear it with shorts you know not too bad I really love these Eric Emanuel shorts I got a huge collection of them I did make an Eric Emanuel review video so definitely check that out I might have more shorts to come in from him I don't know I mean I have it quite a few already but there's a graphic on the back of this shirt just yeah the sleeve length is real nice not too long not too short just right to my elbow almost and with my long reach. It's just nice to have a shirt that doesn't have super short sleeves. The logo's on here. Like I said, really well done. The back logo is a little bit thicker than the front logo for the ink style. What they probably did is they probably just did a few layers of the print on the back. You can do multiple layers of the same color and then this looks like it's just a single layer. This one probably maybe two or three, maybe four? Probably not four. Four is normally the most you would do. I don't even know how they do puff print like that Kerwin Frost, dude. I don't even know how they do that puff print. That is just, yeah, that's gotta be weird. And then they do have some screen printing on here too. Yeah, because his face is screen printed. His mouth is a thin layer of puff print and then his beard is like another layer above. <laughs> These letters though are like max for height. So I think it is actually just a bunch of layers of the puff print to make it taller and whatnot. And that's why you have like the weirdness on these corners. So anyways, yeah, Cone Frost was super cool for releasing those. Yeah, today is all about some donation items. So you can wear them and be excited that the money is going to a good cause. And then we did open up this Supreme shirt. I did that a couple of days ago because I, I really didn't know what this Supreme item was. It had just shown up after my other Supreme video was just posted. So I thought maybe they gave me a double order or something or a special order maybe, but it wasn't. It was just my next order. And uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead. We'll switch to that. Okay. This Supreme showed up today. Wanted to open it up right away. I don't even remember what week this is from. Oh yeah, week five. This is that crazy shirt. Comes with a sticker pack. This was tomorrow. That shirt I already opened up if you want to check that out. And then we're getting into the colder months so I got a size large. That's my normal winter size. And here's the tag. Back of the neck. There's that label. You know. Yeah. Got the graphic on there. Pretty intense graphic. Really cool photo. I'm gonna wait to open this up till I have the right outfit that I want it for. I mean, I have a lot of white and black shirts already, so I'm just let this one sit. All right, I guess I told you everything about this, so let's go ahead. We'll share some positivity from my iPhone. I've been reading a lot of different content online, a bunch of different audiobooks that I can get my hands on while I'm working. Some days I'm just quite not ready for a really in-depth psychology book. I just need to take it easy. And so then I'll do a Joe Rogan podcast or a Duncan Trussell or a bunch of different NBA podcasts, The Ringer or The Jump or I don't know. There's some different ones out there. And then sometimes I just don't want to hear anybody talk. So that's when I listen to music. I like to listen to obviously all the hits, make sure I'm up to date with all the latest songs that have come out that the whole world is kind of really listening to or, or loving. And then just go off on my own tangent with a bunch of different chill vibe songs that are just easy going easy walking songs cuz I mean that's what I'm doing all day long that's who I am right now as a postal carrier I feel like I, I am an artist I'm all these other things but because I'm working so much at the post office I just feel like yeah I'm just a walking dude around town that everybody sees but anyways I'm gonna read this quote from Albert Einstein a human being is a part of the whole called by us universe a part limited in time and space he experiences himself his thoughts and feelings as something separate from the rest a kind of optical delusion of his consciousness this delusion is a kind of prison for us 
restricting us to our personal desires and to affection for a few persons nearest to us. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature in its beauty. Mm, I love that quote. It's just so, so good for me to hear and hopefully for all of you guys to hear. We really need to just widen our minds up and understand the ethics of the whole universe, of the whole planet, all plant life, all animal life. How can we better the world, make it better than when we left it? Because for too long, mankind has been leaving the world worse off when he dies. People have just been really tearing the world apart recently, and we need to be a generation that is more conscious of this planet that we have. We don't have another planet to go to right now. We don't have an escape route. So we really need to make sure that we're just taking care of each each human being out there, being positive to all those different people around us and just being ethical overall, being ethical with our dollars when we're buying things. Maybe spend some money on some cool hype that does donate a good cause. I'm always into that if they're gonna be helping a community or some sort of global restoration program. We just, <laughs> we need to see change, positive change. We can do it with our dollars and we can do it with the way that we present ourselves just by spreading that joy, that happiness that only the love of Jesus can bring, where, you know, we love people just because they're another human. <laughs> we care about them, even if they want to be our enemy. We're going to be kind to them, and that's a very radical way of living, and that's why they ended up killing Jesus, because, you know, people couldn't handle it. They, they didn't like what he was teaching, and, I mean, I'm going to keep that vibe going, where we just got to care about each human being, even if they don't agree with us, and, and they want to tear us down. Let's not get carried away with some sort of hate battle. I mean, come on. Let's just sit back and listen sometimes. Sometimes we just need to zip it and just let other people give their depression and anxieties and insecurities out to somebody because if they're just holding all those things inside it's going to destroy if you're holding some of those things inside it's going to destroy you you gotta you gotta find a way to let those things out so anyways i love you all and i'll see you in the next one peace